Hey everyone, welcome to another quick filter grade tutorial. If you end up finding this one helpful, please like and subscribe for more. Today we'll be changing the aspect ratio of a project in Premiere Pro. It's actually super easy and you might need to do it if you decide to convert a video to vertical to make it mobile optimized, or if you want to use a more cinematic aspect ratio without artificially adding in black bars. There are many reasons you may want to do this. So while the sequence you want to adjust is open, click on Sequence from the top bar of Premiere Pro and click Sequence Settings. Here you can change most overall settings about the project attributes, like frame rate, resolution, and audio sample rate to name a few. To change the aspect ratio, just change the resolution numbers. They are not locked to a certain aspect ratio, so you can easily change these values independently. For example, if you wanted to convert a normal 1080p video, just swap the 1920 and 1080 values. Now you'll have a 9 by 16 aspect ratio instead of 16 by 9. Premiere Pro shows you the aspect ratio next to the resolution, so you can see whether it's 16.9 or 64.27, which is near 21.9, for example, if you wanted a widescreen cinematic frame. The important thing to remember when changing aspect ratios is that any footage that you have in your project already will need to be scaled again. Existing video assets will remain at whatever resolution they were before the change. This means that converting a horizontal video to vertical will result in an image that extends beyond the sides of the screen, rather than an image that fits perfectly to the edges like before. However, there is another option that may maintain the framing of your clips a little bit better. This tool is called Auto Reframe Sequence. Right click on your sequence in the project panel and select Auto Reframe Sequence. You'll be able to choose from some preset aspect ratios or make a new custom one. Then Premiere Pro will do its best to convert the sequence. It creates a duplicate, so if it isn't what you wanted, you'll still be able to go back to your original sequence easily. Here's one last trick for determining resolutions if you know an aspect ratio you want, but not the resolution that you need. Divide the aspect ratio, like 16 divided by 9, then multiply that number by your vertical resolution to get your horizontal resolution. So 16 divided by 9 multiplied by 1080 is 1920, thus getting your normal 1920 by 1080 resolution. If you drop footage into an empty sequence and the aspect ratio settings, as well as other settings, don't match, you will be prompted with a message asking if you want to change the sequence settings. This can also be an easy way to change the settings if you don't want to deal with all the math. If you drop in footage that is smaller than the sequence size, it will show up as smaller. To quickly change this, you can right-click on the footage in your timeline and click Scale to Frame Size. You can also manually adjust the scale in the Effects Control Panel. And that's all about changing aspect ratio in Premiere Pro. Leave any other questions in the comments, and if this video was helpful to you, let us know by leaving a like. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.